Thursday evening, Armenia, Sunik province governor noted that 30 more Azerbaijanis had trespassed the state border. According to the governor, adversary is constantly inciting a war, even though the Armenian side has declared several times that it's preparing to resolve the issue peacefully. Meanwhile, the mayor of Hoznavar village of Sunik province noted that the Azerbaijani military on Thursday advanced another one and a half kilometers in the direction of the village. And today on Friday, Gor Abrahamian, advisor to the Prosecutor General of Armenia, went on Facebook to present details about the recent incident nearby the village of Shoshi Narza, Nagorno-Karabakh. According to him, on Monday, Azerbaijanis fired shots near the Artsakh village for seven minutes. The working civilian and conscripts were able to take shelter during this shooting, he noted. Armenian Defense Ministry noted that the situation after the provocations carried out by the Azerbaijani armed forces on the Armenia-Azerbaijan border on May the 12th and the 13th has not changed considerably as of noon Friday. On Thursday evening, a quarrel took place near Sev Lake region over videos showing Armenian and Azerbaijani servicemen. The dispute was settled by the efforts of the superior command. The Defense Ministry on Thursday organized a visit to Sunik province for the military attaches of the four embassies in Armenia to familiarize them with the situation on the ground as a result of Azerbaijani servicemen's incursion into Armenia. These military attaches were nearby Sev Lake too. They recorded the presence of the Azerbaijani military in the territory of Armenia and observed the deployment of Armenian and Azerbaijani forces in the area. Acting Prime Minister of Armenia Nikol Pashinyan on Thursday confirmed he is negotiating a new document with Azerbaijan and Russia and which, according to him, is 100% in line with the interests of Armenia. The paper was first published by Armenia's former ambassador to the Vatican, Mikhail Minasyan. According to him, Pashinyan was going to sign a new agreement that would damage the interests of the country. In turn, the acting Prime Minister noted that Armenia has reached some agreements with its international colleagues and these solutions are 100% in line with the interests of Armenia. Meanwhile, Russian President Spokesperson Dmitry Peskov commented on the alleged text of the statement by acting Prime Minister of Armenia Nikol Pashinyan as well as Presidents of Russia and Azerbaijan Vladimir Putin and Ilham Aliyev. According to Peskov, random publications should be treated with cautiousness. Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev has announced readiness to establish trade relations with Yerevan. Baku is ready to establish trade relations with Yerevan, but for that, Azerbaijan and Armenia must recognize each other's borders, he noted. According to him, 30,000 Armenians live in the Nagorno-Karabakh Artsakh territories, which are currently under the monitoring of Russian peacekeepers. We consider them citizens of Azerbaijan who have been brainwashed by the Armenian propaganda, the Azerbaijani president added. Maria Zakharova, the official representative of the Russian Foreign Ministry, noted that Moscow supports organizing a UNESCO mission to Nagorno-Karabakh, Artsakh, and surrounding areas. Zakharova recalled that the April 13 statement adopted by the OSC Ministry of Co-Chairs notes that the preservation and protection of religious and cultural heritage are among the issues that require additional efforts from both Azerbaijan and Armenia. To note, however, Azerbaijan distorts under the pretext of repair work the Armenian historical and cultural monuments in the Artsakh territories it has occupied as a result of the 2020 war. An Armenian conscript has died in a road accident. At around 7 p.m. on Thursday, an armored personnel carrier of a military unit rolled about 100 meters into a gorge while traveling. An investigation is underway to find out the details of this incident. As of Friday morning, 140 new cases of the coronavirus were confirmed in Armenia and the total number of these cases has reached 221,699. Also, several more deaths from COVID-19 were registered, making the respective total 4,371 cases. The number of people who have recovered over the past one day is 484 and the total respective number so far is 210,464.